Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on plastic analysis. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A two span continuous beam ABC has span length AB is 6 meter and BC is 6 meter and carries an UDL of 30 kN per meter completely covering the spans AB and BC. If the load factor is 1.8 and the shape factor is 1.15 for the I section, evaluate the section modulus. Assume yield stress for the material is 250 N per millimeter square. In this question, first we have to find the plastic moment capacity. Later, we can find the section modulus. The load factor is given in the question 1.8. Let us multiply the load 30 with 1.8. When we do that, we will get 54 kN per meter. Let us take the span AB and form the first mechanism. In the span AB, in the point A, there will be no plastic hinge because it is a simply supported end. Under the UDL, we will have one plastic hinge and in the joint B, we will have one more plastic hinge. So totally in the span AB, we will have two plastic hinges. Let us keep the virtual displacement as delta, this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. In this span, in one end we do not have plastic hinge and on the other end we have plastic hinge. In this case, we have to consider this span as a propped cantilever beam. If in the proper cantilever beam, UDL is acting for the full span, the plastic hinge under the load occurs at 0.414L from the free end. We can easily find this distance L minus 0.414L, we will get 0.586L. Here L is 6 meter. Let us multiply 0.414 with 6, we will get 2.484 meter and let us multiply 0.586 with 6. When we do that, we are getting 3.516 meter. Let us apply these values here. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon 2.484 tan theta 1 will be very small so tan theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1 in this case we can take theta 1 is equal to delta upon 2.484 from that we will get delta which is equal to 2.484 theta 1 now let us take the right side triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 2 is equal to delta upon 3.516. We know that tan theta 2 will be approximately equal to theta 2. In this case, we can take theta 2 is equal to delta upon 3.516. For delta, we can apply this. Finally, for theta 2, we are getting 0 0.706 theta 1. Now let us find the internal work done. Under the load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MP with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. In the point B, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. Then we have to add both of these. For theta 2, we can apply 0 0.706 theta 1. 
after adding these two we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 2.412 mb theta 1 now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply the load with the area of this triangle the area of the triangle is half into 6 into delta 2 3s are 6 54 into 3 we will get 162 for delta we can apply this after multiplying these we will get the external work done which is equal to 402.408 theta 1 now let us equate the internal work done and the external work done theta 1 will be eliminated we can take 2.412 on the other side it will come in the denominator finally for mb we are getting 166.84 kN meter in the span ab we have made the first mechanism now we have to make the second mechanism in the span bc this beam is symmetrical we have the same load on the left side and on the right side so in the mechanism 1 and 2 we will get the same plastic movement usually we have to take the maximum plastic movement from the mechanisms right now we have the same plastic movements in this case we have to select this value as the plastic movement capacity of the beam which is equal to 166.84 kN meter in the question we have been asked to find the section modulus the shape factor is given yield stress is given using these values we can find the section modulus we have calculated mb in kN meter we can convert that into newton millimeter for that we have to multiply this with 10 power 6 we know that m upon i is equal to sigma by y we can take i on the other side it will come in the numerator i upon y is z using this concept we can form this equation plastic movement mb is equal to yield stress into plastic modulus we have yield stress and plastic movement let us apply them finally we are getting the plastic modulus the shape factor s yes, is equal to plastic modulus upon section modulus we can take z on the other side it will come in the numerator and take s yes on the other side it will come in the denominator let us apply z p and s yes. Finally, we are getting the section modulus. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.